man, you can just see how tired I am just looking at my face. Um, I just realized that I'm not going to shower tonight. And typically I haven't showered, been showering in the morning. So I might be gross tomorrow and not be showered at work. Don't tell anyone. That is kind of gross. Um, probably looks like I'm recording this on the same night as last night because I've got the same shirt on. I'll put this on so I don't look like a doofus on camera. I was going to wear it to start the video because um, I was going to skip tonight, but spur of the moment, I'm just doing this. If I'm smart, I won't be on here for more than like 10 minutes because today is supposed to be like a rest day for me. Even though I spent the majority of like an hour, not exactly the last hour, but like pretty close to the last hour, um, getting all in my head, even though yesterday, I think I even said it on the video and gosh, I know I had, I mean, this is never enough, right? I know I had a bunch of tabs, um, open in the video last night that I wanted to kind of bring up and finish the discussion on today and I can't even begin to remember what those were so uh that is not going to happen today and I guess if they were important enough then I will hopefully remember them for next time um but I'm not going to be all center on camera right now because um not like I really ever am anyways when I set my phone up but I'm doing some laundry, uh, or trying to. This all should have been done Sunday, um, but I got captivated during the Lions 49ers game. Thought we were gonna go to the Super Bowl and had my heart ripped out, so I did not get around to doing all this. Um, I guess that's one of the tabs that I had open yesterday that I wanted to discuss that I'll talk about today. It's just like chores and laundry and stuff which i love doing and it makes me feel pretty good um geez all of a sudden i could tell like right before i put the hat on all of a sudden i got really hot so i'm not gonna do that i'm just gonna have to look like a doofus for this video um because at home and I took a nap which it was weird when i looked at the screen time on my phone um there was only like an hour like like at 6 p.m. it showed I was on my phone for like a half hour and at 8 p.m. I was just on my phone for like a half hour. So I guess I only really slept for like at most an hour and a half. Um, but it did not feel like that. And uh, probably should have slept longer, honestly. And uh, yeah, not that any of the videos are usually pretty good, but this one is going to be actually pretty chalked like on my chalk nights i feel like i've been making some good videos but um it's 10 10 already even though i napped i guess and had a little bit of leeway i should be in bed by like 11 which is not going to happen because i haven't even gotten around to doing any of the things i actually want to do on like a day off which is watch uh some youtube or some. well i watched a bunch of youtube but that's not actually what i want to watch i always end up on youtube watching dumb videos when really all i want to watch is uh, been getting back into anime. And last night I watched the episode of Hunter Hunter. And I really, really liked that show when I first got into it. Like I loved the first couple seasons. And then I got to like the video game arc or whatever when they're in the video game world. And uh, God, I just, it's weird I'm recording at this angle looking all stupid, but um, yeah, I, I just, like, kept watching videos or episodes during that arc, and I just could not get into it. And then, like, it's one of those things, maybe it's just because it's anime where they speak in Japanese, but, like, I guess all the shows are kind of the same like this, where, like, once you just fall out of the loop, it's like, well, it's annoying when you start an episode of something, and it's like, well, I don't want to backtrack. Because when you backtrack, even though I don't remember it all, I'm just like, well, I can sort of tell that I've seen this before. And that annoys me because it's like, I don't really have the time. I don't watch enough to like care to want to watch something that I've already seen before. But at the same time, I also don't really have a good understanding of where we're picking up. But yesterday I got lucky to like land on an episode where like, 
I kind of felt like I kind of got the whole picture of what was going on. I didn't really need to know every detail of what happened before. Um, so now that I went off on a weird Hunter x Hunter tangent, uh, basically, man, I just don't know where the time goes because, um, yeah, I'm just going to keep going with this because I want to just get something going today, get one up. Um, it's going to be shorter for sure. It's going to be talked because I'm about to do dishes. Um, so we're going to see how this goes this is the test. I'm going to do dishes. I'll try and record and we'll see uh, if you guys will even be able to hear me or how bad it turns out. No matter what, I'm going to upload this. So we will see what happens. Um, I'm going to try to move my, make a setup here for myself. Um, yeah, I think I said it on camera yesterday that I was going to try to skip today. So I felt good about it at work, even though I ended up talking to my coworker about going to the gym 25 out of 31 days. Cause I used to go in the morning. So my coworker used to see me when I'd go in the morning. And so like, he just keeps joking with me about how like, I'll be drinking my protein shake at work and I'll be like, yo, so you gotta go to the gym for that protein to work or something. Or I forget how he tried to make a comment today about me not going to the gym. It's like, I'm still going every day. I just don't go at six in the morning and see him there early. Which going at 6 a.m. is a pretty alpha time to go, but um, I just ever since I went home for Christmas, I've not been able to get back on that good sleep schedule. And uh, basically, I really wish I could see, like, maybe I'll have to rewatch these videos. I don't know how, like, I know I had that night where um, I cooked the steak at 3 a.m., which was stupid, but, like, I ended up sleeping in sort of the next day and napping a little bit on the weekend like i feel like i like the, i know that wasn't what got me messed up to begin with because i had already been like i was already ridiculously tired before going on that milwaukee trip and uh i'm not sure that everyone has this experience but i feel like thursday night which today is a thursday night is just that night of the week where you're like you're most tired you know um sometimes it'll be friday for me too sometimes it hits hard friday like some of these last few fridays um not really recently i guess this last friday it was the one i was up till three in the morning but sometimes on a friday like i'll get home from work and i'll be all excited be like oh today's friday no work tomorrow i'm gonna stay up till 2 a.m. watching this or playing this or whatever, which I kind of don't really want to aspire to do because I want to keep a good sleep schedule and whatever, which I don't know why I care and got all started overthinking stuff like sleep schedule because no matter what, you're pretty much sleeping the same hours of the day. Um, usually I clean this thing by hand, but I'm just gonna throw it in the dishwasher. Um, but yeah, I don't, I used to love being a night owl, but I don't really want to stay up that late anymore because I don't know, I just, even when I would stay up to like 2 a.m. or 3 a.m., I would never really sleep in too late. Like, I know some friends or some people that sleep in till like 2 p.m. or this and that. Like, I've never been one of those types of people. If I wake up at like 11, which is like the latest I'll ever wake up, and that's if I like, like it was weird, the night I slept in till three, or stayed up till 3 a.m. and cooked the steak, I probably went to bed at 5 and I woke up at like 9. And then I came out here for like an hour and chilled and then I ended up like forcing myself to go back to sleep for like 4 hours. Because I knew that I was super tired and just couldn't feel it. Because um, like I said, I had been even tired before then, so yeah, I don't really know what I'm getting at here. But basically, at some point in here which I wish I could remember, I got kind of behind the eight ball. And ever since then, it has been such a struggle. Like when I got to work today, I did not think I was gonna be able to get through it. And somehow I did and I felt so good about it, but there is still tomorrow. And I don't know, I have more than usual to do tomorrow, but not like nothing ridiculous. But, um. I guess what's kind of been on my mind 
Or, well, just to put my day into perspective, which, you know, it's been tough um, being so behind on sleep. Like, I guess now would be the perfect time to start because I see a lot of videos that say start something new habit when you're busy because it'll just get easier instead of getting harder. But uh, long story short, I've said it in probably every one of these so far, since, so I want to stop saying it. And like I said, I can vlog for a year, like it really doesn't matter. I don't know what the issue is, why I, I feel the need that like, to make better content. Like some people vlog, like why can't I do it? Um, but yeah, basically, I don't know. I just wanna rant about my day. So yesterday I kind of decided that today would be a rest day from the gym. And I think it's perfect because I went the last six days, which is kind of a lot in a row. Yesterday I felt like I could have put in a better back workout if I was a little more rested maybe. So, uh, I don't know. But then today, like, I uh, basically got out of work. And during work it was crazy. It was so hot in the office because it was like 50 degrees today all of a sudden. When it's been like 30 degrees or negative 20 for the last month. And it was sunny outside. The first time the sun has come out in like three or four weeks, probably since Christmas. So that was cool, but obviously you're inside all day. And by the time I left work at like four, I went thankfully like literally a three minute drive away from my work was this lake. And so I went to the lake and decided to walk around the lake. And usually I'll do two laps, but I didn't realize how like, it literally, I mean, it took me like 40 minutes to walk around this lake, which is only like a mile and a half, but I stopped a little bit to take things in. And there were some kids in front of me that like seemed kind of mischievous and for some reason they were picking up sticks and stuff and I was just like, I don't know, like, I feel like I got too close to these kids, they're gonna like try to rob me or something, I don't know. I was just getting a, a sus, sus, sus vibe from them. And so uh, I had to take it slightly slow, but it's it was one of those things where like, sometimes I go for a walk and I feel like it really goes well. Um, and I feel relaxed and in tune with nature, and I feel like, ah, oh, I need to do this more. And I was really expecting to get that same feeling, and to some extent I did, but um, the first like 10 minutes of the walk were pretty fine, and then it kind of stunk. It was like, it just went poorly, I guess, because I knew I had gloves in the car and I should have brought them. I just wasn't thinking about it. Like, because when I first got out of the car, it was still pretty warm. Thank God I didn't. I almost was like, oh, let me go home and like put on some shorts or something. But I thought like earlier when I went outside, it was warm. So I thought I was gonna be like, actually like sweating walking around this lake. And instead, like basically three minutes into the walk or like five to 10 minutes, basically where it was like, I was like 30% into it or something or 20% to where I didn't really want to turn around at that point. But, um, so I kept going and then it just kept getting worse. So I basically, so I, once I was like a, a little bit of the ways into it where I didn't really want to turn back, it was not, like the sun basically went away and a wind kicked in and it just got like pretty cold. Cold to a point where I think it like, you know, I wasn't freezing, it wasn't horrible, but it definitely uh, made it to where I wasn't necessarily as and as like much of a meditative, relaxed, enjoying nature state as I desired, I guess. So that kind of sunk and that took like an hour. So then I got home, which it was, it was whatever, because usually I feel like I end up somehow always wasting the first hour after I get home anyways. And so then I took some pieces of bread out of the freezer and laid in bed for like 25 minutes and played on my phone. Then I came back and uh, made two peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, which I've been using this new peanut butter, which is just like roasted peanuts and sea salt. And I will say, like my coworker, like he saw me bring it one time and I had actually never opened it yet at this point. I think I brought it so that I could make peanut butter and jelly sandwiches at work, which I need to get back to doing because I've been skipping out on eating lunch and like, for so many days and it's been good like, i've been losing a lot of weight and well i don't know i guess i'll see what i weigh when i go home saturday which will be really cool to see 
Um, these time is flying. I'm already 15 minutes into this. I wish I had started earlier. Um, which I don't know why I'm so concerned, but I feel like this isn't something that's, well, so far in these videos, I've tried not to worry or like give any thought to like how I come off. I just want to be my natural organic self and hope that possibly someone out there will gravitate towards it, which could be the case. Maybe, I don't know. Cause I find all the time, like I haven't been doing it as much. Like I've been kind of on a kick on YouTube where I've been watching like good content, which even that I'm starting to get sick of cause it's just too much all at once. So I've been watching like a, just too many Dr. K videos and helpful content and podcasts and stuff. So the last few days I've noticed for some reason in my recommended, I've been getting all this. Well, actually I was watching a lot of sports videos too because of the lines, but I had to block all those because now it's all just bad news and hating on us and saying how we lost this game in a major um, heartbreaking fashion. So I haven't, I've been blocking all those from my feed. But like the last couple of days I've been watching videos from like small YouTubers that have been showing up on my feed, like stupid Minecraft challenges. It is kind of embarrassing. Yesterday I clicked on a video that was like, you've been mining wrong in Minecraft alpha and beta. And I think that's a great example because of, of like how it's crazy that sometimes I overthink anything I'm gonna do on YouTube. Like this, I'm just like, if anything like this go were to like pop off for me, I'd feel so much crazy confidence because this is literally just me, I guess. Like I'm thinking about it now, like this is me shittily giving a, a list of like hour by hour of my day while I clean. And the cool thing about it is maybe I'll start to stack up some watch hours while doing this just from like my aunts and my parents watching this and probably cousins and whoever else has found it that's making fun of me. But, um, but, uh, but yeah, so like, this is funny because I wonder like, why do I overthink it when I watch things on YouTube all the time that are irrational where it's like, why the hell did I click on that video? Like, yeah, I like Minecraft, but I haven't played Minecraft in years. I'm definitely not going to be playing Minecraft Alpha or Beta anytime soon. Like the video did not apply to me in any way or offer any thing relevant to my life at all. And I still clicked on it and watched the whole like 10 minute video. So if I'd spend 10 minutes with him, why would people not spend 17 minutes with a chill guy like me just recapping my whole day for some reason? And I guess I'm trying to get takeaways from it too. So what I'm trying to get better at is be more insightful and drawing good conclusions from the experiences of my day. Um, okay, I need to move over to the wash machine and start that because that's going to take a while and I need to put it in the dryer before put it in the put the clothes in the dryer before I go to bed. Um, Oh no, literally resting a, a plate I just washed on a dirty knife. Um, oh, I need to wash this too. Um, oh, I need to wash this too. There's really not that big of a pile up of dishes. I would show you, but I basically just cleaned half of it at least. Um, I think I can close the dishwasher now. I guess I'll use a different glass to salt water rinse today. Let me put this away. Um, yeah, I think I was going to say yesterday, maybe, because I had been talking to my coworker yesterday about chores, kind of. And um, he was kind of saying how he likes doing laundry and stuff. He says he does laundry and the cooking and the cleaning and stuff, but his girlfriend does, like, the tax stuff or the this or that or whatever and events and doctor's appointments and stuff and i was like that is cool um i definitely think it's good experience to uh for someone my age or anyone to be living on their own for a year a few years to um take on all that stuff because i'm definitely looking forward to the day that i have a partner in crime lady friend to help me 
with all the tasks and stuff because it would be pretty nice to uh, have some type of help in doing like the laundry or all the little chores. Um, start spinning that before I put the soap in or detergent, whatever. I don't even know what, what I'm saying anymore. Tide pods. Um, but of course then I'll probably have a kid. So once that happens, all these responsibilities are just little insignificant things in the grand scheme of whatever. But I guess that's one of the things I wanted to say about laundry was that like, I like doing stuff like laundry. It makes me feel like I'm doing things like on Sunday, which is usually when I do my chores. Like, um, there's only like two dishes here. There was like the egg dish from last night, a couple Tupperwares from the weekend that had my like taco meat and cheese in them. Um, I guess there was a cutting board too from when I made the tuna salad on video. But like for the most part, I try to get like all my chores done on like Sunday. So I'll do like three loads of laundry, uh, run the dishwasher, whatever. Maybe I'll have some dishes from the night before that I have to restarting the dryer with a wet towel because I don't know why I'm doing that actually. I'm doing that as if I'm gonna like fold the clothes all nicely tonight, which is not going to be the case. So that's kind of a waste, but whatever. Um, I'm just trying to make sure this place is pretty clean, which it is. Um, if I say that, that that's, that's going in a different direction. I need to keep on the chores. But so basically, um, yeah, I feel like I get a lot of enjoyment or like satisfaction out of cleaning. And, and it is true. I've watched videos with like Dr. K, you know, he says that like doing tasks like that and fiddling with your hands and stuff, it kind of like frees your mind a bit to like think and decompress and whatever. So I think it does help to some extent, but I'll get to the end of like a chore session and just be like, I'll feel like kind of accomplished, but then the part of me that's a grinder that wants to get rich and be successful or something is like, okay, in the grand scheme of things, what have I really done? Like I just like, basically you're just like on a hamster wheel, like you do the dishes, you do the laundry, it's just gonna get dirty again. So like, I guess that's a pretty glass half empty perspective, but um, at the end of the day, this stuff just keeps going and going. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't want to get in one of those doofus rambles for 52 minutes type videos like vibes, but um, Compared to the last few videos I've been making where I've felt really good about how they've turned out, I don't think this is going particularly great. Um, if I was watching this one, I'm not sure if I'd like it that much. I'm kind of all over. Um, whatever. I'm proud that I started one today and got 23 minutes in because I could have just not done one, which I was very close to doing. And, uh, Except it is starting to get late and take over my night. Like now it's 10.30 and I just cleaned this thing. Like basically I've been, it makes sense that I would have a poor performance tonight, which I don't think I'm having like really a, a crazy poor video performance, but just like, that's kind of why I wanted to make a video. It's the topic I'm about to address now. But so let me just make sure I think I closed the laundry tab and chores tab, like, as someday, usually, you should see, like, on Sunday, it feels so good, though, when, like, literally everything is where it should be. My, uh, my, like, every dish is put away, every piece of clothing is, like, folded and put away, and that is kind of, wasn't the case for this week, but it is what it is, and now... Getting back to my days, so like I had the peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, those were delicious. Uh, I'll close one more tab with that. But so I've been skipping lunches, which has been good for me cutting. And because like usually I get over the feeling of hunger, but honestly, it stinks. Cause like sometimes you have a big lunch at work or something, or like a lunch, and then after you eat at work, you don't really want to. Uh, you just feel like sluggish. But then also at the same time, especially with the amount I work out, I feel like I'm probably definitely cutting too hard. 
which I wasn't trying to do. And I think it'll help that I go home because when I go home, I'll go with my family and I'm sure they'll order pizza and do this, this and that. Sorry, family, not trying to throw you under the bus, but I'm sure I won't be uh, eating as under calorie here as I will, or as under calorie there as I am here. Um, that aside, uh, yeah, I just think not eating enough has been getting kind of sluggish at work. But the alternative, I mean, I guess I just got to get back to to preparing like lunches for myself, like PBJs or like the turkey sandwich, which honestly are also not super satisfying. But I don't know, there aren't too many good restaurant places. And I just don't know, like I need to get, I just need to stop being so cheap. I don't know why, like I'm making more money than I ever have in my whole entire life now. And like when I was making less money, I used to not care at all for some reason. Or not not care at all, I was still cheap, but like, I would do much more for myself. Like I didn't even buy, like I know I'm trying to stop alcohol because it kind of goes against uh, basically the muscle growth and like going to the gym and the health pick I'm trying to be on, but I didn't even buy any alcohol for me to drink during the, during the Lions game because I didn't like want to spend $30 on like a rack of beer or like whatever. I know I could have got a smaller amount, but if you get a smaller amount, then you're not like getting the most bang for your buck or whatever, which I'm just, uh, something's wrong with me in the head for sure. But anyways, um, my one coworker today at lunch, she ordered like a salad, Caesar salad actually, funny enough. Um, the best salad out there. And it looked delicious. And she said that normally it's like 12 or $13 because all my coworkers were kind of looking at it, um, just gossiping, seeing what was up. And she said that it was like 12 or 13 bucks only, but she door dashed it to the office. So it was like 20 bucks. And I was just like, man, I wish, like I really want to do that. But, and sometimes I'll see him get Jimmy John's and stuff. And I don't think Jimmy John's is horrible on a salad, I think is fine. But I just, I'm pretty proud to say that since I've been here, all I've really done, at least for the last few weeks since the start of the new year, and even before then, I was pretty much like, I don't think, I don't think I've had fast food here since my internship, which, so basically, like since like October 23rd when I started full time here, I don't think that I really ever have eaten out here. Besides that, well actually that's a lot, I've gone out a couple times to lunch with my coworkers, And when I do that, I order food like a normal guy. I actually, it was funny, one time I went out to lunch with my coworkers and before I went, I was like, okay, like literally, I'm not gonna eat a lot, I'm trying to eat healthy. And so like, I'm just gonna go to lunch with them to be a good coworker and just the vibes, whatever. And then, cause it'll be fun, get out of the office, hang with the guys. Well. As soon as I got to the restaurant, that completely changed because I didn't recognize it at the time until after when I was like just reflecting on the whole thing. It was funny because like as soon as I got the menu in front of me, my mind went from like, don't order a lot of food, like you're not even hungry, to me sitting there being like, is the five piece chicken tender meal or the 10 boneless wing meal actually have more volume in it? And I came to the conclusion that the chickens, because they were the same price. And this was at Buffalo Wild Wings, which I've never really been a big fan of. Like I used to when I was in like middle school, I thought it was fire. And then they've had some years there. They've gone through so many like menu changes where like basically they have the exact same stuff, but the wings have stayed pretty much the same. If anything, I think they're better now than they used to be. Or maybe the locations here are just better because this is the only one I've been going to. Like, I've gone out to lunch with my boss like four times. It seems like, I think we've gone to Buffalo Wild Wings three times. So that seems to be uh, his, his favorite joint, I guess. But I remember back in the day, you used to get some gross ones and you could tell they were just like cube chunks, which I don't know why I thought that those were gross, but I think they're better now. But I guess what would I know? Even though, I, well, I guess I only got tenders the one time because the other time we went, it was BOGO, which was awesome. 
and I need to do that again sometime. I almost went today because it was a little good on, but um, I have these eggs I need to eat, which I probably should cook tonight. That's another thing with eating is like, I don't know. I know I'm super under calorie for the day. Maybe I can make some more peanut butter and jellies, but I don't know. Really, I should make those eggs tonight to try to get rid of them. But then I gotta get that pan dirty again, and it's already 10.30, and I just don't like want to be up too late, but I just wanna chill. Like, I don't know. It was, I don't know where the hell the time goes, man. Like, I woke up at like 8, 10, next to my dad. I guess I watched a couple YouTube videos. And then I overthought for like an hour just sitting there. Like I was literally just like sitting there and just could not think. Like I was like, do I go to the gym? Do I not go to the gym? And I tried to tell myself last night that I wasn't going to get into this. Like I told myself last night, okay, I'm committing, not going to the gym tomorrow. Uh, I think I kind of went over it in the video yesterday. I've gone 25 times. I've only missed six days this year. And the six days I missed, three times the gym was closed. And the other three times I was like on the road for work. And honestly, all three of those times I could have worked out, but whatever you know i'm on the road i get back to the hotel room at like 7 p.m i'm not gonna work out like whatever and i've worked out the past six days it's probably good for me to have a rest day and on top of that like normally it'd be fine but i've just been so tired lately you know so i really just need to catch up on sleep and i know that sleep is like huge for muscle building and everything really and if i get rid of some of the stress it helps some of the weight come off and just so I don't know. I had told myself I wasn't going to overthink it. And I sat here for an hour overthinking it. And then earlier today too, I texted my one friend basically to let him know. I must have texted him yesterday, but I was like, yo, like I get to work from home this next week. So I'll be home Saturday of this weekend and then next weekend and whatever. And then when I was doing that, I thought, because I've been meaning like since August when I got to this new job to go back to, uh, my college because one of my roommates is still living at the apartment complex we lived in together. Not the same um, apartment, which kind of stinks, but like not the same exact unit, but like in the same complex. So I want to visit him at some point and I've been putting it off and I talked to him last weekend finally for the first time since like August, we were playing like Minecraft together. I said that in the last couple videos and uh, yeah, so I've been talking with him recently and I thought about it earlier today and I didn't send the text, but I was thinking like, you know what, if I'm, cause like Friday, I'm gonna get out of work tomorrow at like four. And by the time I would get all the way home, it'd be like 9.30. And so I'd be driving in the dark basically the whole time. And I don't really want to do that. So um, I'm basically was thinking about coming back here tomorrow, going to the gym, just having a chill day and then waking up Saturday. I'll probably go to the gym Saturday morning and then drive home and hopefully get there at like an early afternoon time. And uh, then today I got the bright idea at some point, I was like, well, I could leave work tomorrow, drive like halfway there to where my college is, because my college is like basically almost the in-between halfway point between where I'm at for work and home. And I've been overthinking it since, so like I've been like unable to to figure anything out because I don't know why, I've been really trying to, and I've been getting better, I think, at not becoming so overthinking with my decisions, but this one has just had me, had me stuck. And now it's at the point where like, it's too late really for me to decide to wanna do that because I'd have to text them tomorrow. Like I'd have to pack my bag right now and be, I'm gonna try to pack and be able to get to the point tonight where I can leave tomorrow from work if I wanted to. Which I need to think of what I have left to do. Like I just did the dishes. I might have to do more dishes if I cook. It sucks that I just started a new trash bag, but I gotta take out the trash if I'm gonna be gone for nine days. Um, I'm finishing the laundry right now. So really all I need to do is pack my bag for home which is tough to pack because I can never remember what I have at home. I guess I'm just gonna bring like the three outfits I like wearing the most and then my work stuff, which I don't need to pack a big bag. Um, it's tough because I have my Switch here and I've been playing the Switch a lot recently. I guess the Switch I've been moving kind of back and forth it's easy to move back and forth. 
but I have my PC at home that I never use and really need to use. So it's tough because I always feel like I should just leave the stuff here because I have enough stuff at home that should keep me entertained. Like I'm when I'm here, I should play the Switch when I'm home. Like, I don't know, depending on where I'm at, it's always like, if I'm here, I want to play what I have here. And if I'm home, I want to play what I, when I'm here, I want to play what I have at home, like whatever. That's just how it always goes in my brain, I guess. Um, so yeah, I'm like pretty set to jump, but see, I'm just overthinking it. Cause it's like, well, I didn't go to the gym today with how late I'm up now. And I was thinking about this at like nine, it kind of made sense. I was like, well, like it's still, like, I guess I could have not done this video and not done these. Well, I had to do these chores. So and the video probably made it longer, but it was like, it was like essentially, since I'm skipping the gym today and I'm not gonna be able to wake up early tomorrow, if I went there at six tomorrow to go to my college, I'd be skipping the gym again, which wouldn't be horrible, but then I'd just be drinking again. Like, I'm not sure if he's got anything good for tomorrow. Like if I'd just go there and chill at the apartment or if we'd go out or what. And part of me is like, that'd be super fun. Like I, I want to go out and go back to my college. Like it's been so long and I don't know when I'm going to get the next opportunity to do that. And this is all like without even knowing if he'd be able to have me or not or would want to have me but I'm pretty sure he would but I guess it's that unknown of like am I gonna go there and have it like what like who knows what's gonna happen if I go over there it'd be kind of cool to be able to go there and like I'd probably go try to knock on the door of the people living at my apartment now even though it's only been six months it'd be super cool to just see inside there again it'd probably make me cry but um yeah I don't know the other thing is like I've just been so tired where like basically that shows like tonight I barely was able to even get my act together like I was just sitting here till nine somehow like it became nine I was like so excited for today because it was my day off from the gym and so it's already ten thirty now so I'm gonna give myself since I nap for an hour maybe I'll I'm gonna cut it at midnight um as far as like going to sleep but I was just so excited for today yesterday and like kind of today at work I was like okay I get to do whatever I want when I get home and I'm kind of proud of myself I did take the walk at the lake and I did sleep a little which is what I needed to do I ate sort of even though I need to eat again now which is tough because I know I'm super under calorie and even even if I eat the eggs I'm gonna be under calorie but I really am not feeling cooking again and I don't even know if I'm that hungry um I would take the easy oven route, but those chicken things have been tasting so bad. I don't know why. Um, I don't think anyone is watching this at this point. This video has not been very good or entertaining, but so I'm just gonna wrap it up and get the last of the thoughts out. Um, hmm, 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 hmm. Yeah, so. It's just tough. I don't know. Like, one of the times when I was home for Christmas break, I had a chance to go out to the bar with a bunch of my friends. And I actually would have saw some girls from high school, four or five of them that I haven't talked to in a while. And I'd been watching some YouTube videos recently about, like, connecting and stuff. And it just made me, like, I don't know. I just... I kind of thought recently about how there's a lot of people from high school or this or that that I hadn't connected to and wished I had more girls that were friends or this or that or something that I have kind of lost touch with. And that was like a prime opportunity for me to do that. But like, I, I don't remember what the issue was that day, but like I was also kind of tired and I had, I guess that's things, that's a, a thing in life is I'm always going to be tired, but there's been a lot of weeks where I'm not tired, but usually when it comes to the breaks, like by the time I get there, I'm so tired. And so like, I just, and some of my friends had been, aren't working or had like gotten to come home earlier. So they were probably more rested. I had like just gotten home the day before. And so like, I, I slept most of the day or something, or I don't know, it wouldn't help my parents. And then I went to the gym late and I know my dad kind of wanted to hang out with me. And so anyways, like I just decided to stay in that night. And, um, 
Alyssa had, had a pretty good time and I just thought, you know, I'll be able to see them another time. But I wasn't able to see them another time and now everyone went, you know, some of my friends that do work went back to their different states and like, so there never was another opportunity. And so I missed that opportunity. And it's just tough. I'm at a point where like, I'm at a very weird crossroads of transforming my life where I've never really been a fan of going to the bar and stuff. And I don't want to completely cut all the fun out of my life and just be like, dude that just goes to the gym and whatever 24 seven, but maybe that's because I haven't found my purpose yet and what's gonna, what greater level I'm gonna get to in life by taking the hard routes. But especially I know this weekend, I'm gonna go home and hang out with my best friend. Like we always go out to the, always wanna go out to the bar and I'll just do it no matter what. And just because I go out with them doesn't mean I have to drink, but you know, I guess I've already taken the step of not drinking by myself. Like I, I drink very rarely now. So if I go out with my friends once on Saturday, like if I drink like two weekends in a row, that's not really bad in my book. Like I know it's still just as bad sort of for your body or has bad effects, but it's not like I'm drinking every day. Like I, I actually kind of was my senior year of college and before then actually like a lot throughout college, I was basically drinking a lot daily. Um, but yeah, some of those, like, especially with how cheap I am, which is bad, like, you know, I didn't want to pay 20 for lunch, but like some of these clubs I go to with my friend, like it's like $20 to get in. Then you get a double Jack and Coke or something. And it literally will come in a plastic cup like this big and be like $16. And it's like, I spent $80 in a night and it's like, for what? Like, and literally I'm not even like close to being buzzed. It's not really fun. So I just got to talk to more girls or something when I'm out to do something to make it kind of worthwhile. Um, hopefully this washer isn't being too loud. Now I picked up all of a sudden. But this is not too bad. It's better than the big thing I need to stop doing is gambling, which I never decide to go to the casino myself, but I kind of get dragged there a lot by friends or family. And then once I get there, it's too hard for me to not gamble. Um, just to make videos on, it's like crippling our generation. Then I want to make shorts, making fun of Snapchat stories, which I've been wanting to do for the longest. I want to become like a snap influencer, I swear. That would be so sick. Like literally just take a hundred pictures of yourself every day and like just drinking water, made of peanut butter and jelly, have to clean my room today. Like geez, so I wish I could be one of these hot girls on Snapchat. They just post like packing my bags for Italy, like tough day today. It's like, oh, it's so annoying. And I swear, maybe it's because I hate interact with them, but like at some point before I even like interact with them, like they just put like shorts or these stories on Snapchat, which like you can't avoid because they're in the story section and like all, they're just all hot girls for me and like just annoying ass videos. And so I showed it to my friend. I was like, this is exactly why I deleted Snapchat, but now I have to re-download it because I keep getting texts that's like, oh, your friend sent you a Snapchat, open it and then they're texting me like, oh, you don't have Snap anymore, so I gotta text you this. And it's like, yeah, you do, like whatever. I don't know, there was like a family reason, group chat on Snap, I had to read down that before, but um, I don't know. I'm opening, or I'm writing a lot of checks and not cashing them, I don't really know what tabs I got open still. Um, but yeah, I guess. I think tomorrow, like, I'm way leaning towards, I guess I just do things to, to just ruin my mental and kill my vibe all the time because I think I'm totally vibing with having a good Friday tomorrow where I can like get home from work, have no pressure, chill, go to the gym late, come back, chill, and then wake up early and leave Saturday. But in my head, if I was being optimized and being my best self, I would leave work tomorrow go straight to my college, hang out with my friend because I haven't seen him in a while, probably get to go to the bar, probably see a few other people from my school. But then also I hate going to the bar. <laughs> like I just like seeing people, at least my friends, and then I'll probably spend money, which isn't horrible, like I can spend money. But you know, I'd probably miss the second day of the gym. I would probably feel hung over the next day. And then it would be a shorter drive to go home, but I'd probably wake up later. I definitely wouldn't hit the gym in the morning. 
unless I got my friend to let me go to the apartment gym, which would be cool because that was the first gym I ever started working out in. So it'd be fun. I don't know. I thought that maybe getting this off my chest would make me have a thoughts or like kind of figure out what I want to do. Which at this point is kind of too late. Like there's an hour difference over there. They're an hour ahead. So, I mean, my roommate's definitely up to like 3 a.m. every night. I could ask him now, but um, I don't know. I'd have to like pack a bet. I don't know. With how tired, I just, I guess I could do that Saturday, but I have plans Saturday night at home. And it's just tough because I don't like the next two weekends I'm going to be at home. So maybe three weekends from now I could go see him. It's not super pressing, it was just a thought I had because, I don't know, time just seems to be flying. Like, the days go slow, but the months go fast, I guess, I don't know. Like, when I'm sitting there at work, it feels like it's taking forever, but then when I think of things in terms of, like, oh, shoot, like, I got caught up in life, I haven't talked to this person in a minute, it's like, well, it's been months. Um, I know that I'm at a young stage in my life and it's only going to get more and more difficult to keep in contact with people. Like I said, it's also rough when it's like, I'm not gonna be one of, or I have yet to want to become one of these crazy people where I see people online where it's like, once you level up or whatever, like you gotta cut off your friends that don't have the same lifestyle habits as you. I guess that's tough. Like, I don't know, I still relate to and feel like, a, feel like family and close with like my friends that like go to the bar do this or drink and like they're not even like crazy wild partiers I would say they're just like normal people that like go out on the weekends but still it's like okay like I'm not really was never too much about that lifestyle and now I'm really not about it now that I'm going to the gym and stuff and trying to save money and just like really lock in for these next couple of years um but it's like I'm not gonna I'm going to go out to the bar and drink once a week if that's what it takes because I'm not going to cut off my friends, especially my one friend back home, my, like, best bro, because 